Don't do that. That was good. <sighs> Mars too old for balloons anyway. Yeah, I'm sure she would prefer a male stripper. <laughs> Don't put any of those ideas in her head, Blake. <laughs> here, here. Oh, here. thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, have you heard anything about Cassie? Any news? Well, with any luck, they should be back tonight. Oh, in time for the birthday party. Well, no, not quite that soon. No. You nervous? No. Yes, you are. No, I'm trying not to think about it. Okay. You know, Cassie promised me that I'd see her tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Well, then we get them next. For what? Well, the party that Ross wants to throw them when they get back. Oh, right, right, the party. Uh, far be it for me to oh. complain, but why did I move all the furniture out of this room? You know, that had something to do with Sam's surprise for Mara. Oh. Yeah, here, uh, try this or something. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it going, Reva? Any flashes of light or anything? No, not yet, anyway. But I'm getting really good with a cane, and I've learned to navigate my whole backyard. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hi. Uh, happy birthday. I brought chips and enchiladas, which I made myself. And this over here is for you. Thank you. I hope you like it. <laughs> I thought I heard your voice. So can I help you with this? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Very nice to see you. Mom, Catalina's here. Oh, Catalina. Hi, Hello. honey. How are you? Where are you? Hey, 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 All right, move Coming it, people. Through. Clear the way. Uh, here we come. Oh, here my. Oh, wait, this is shaping up to be a very interesting party. Why? What is it? It's a mattress, dear. <laughs> mattress. <laughs> Luckily, I'm here to chaperone, Raven. <laughs> what? Oh, Joshua, what are you doing to my living room? That's Nothing permanent. Don't this worry about is an essential part of the experience. Now I'm scared. No need. We're going to have a relaxed, sensual, trendy kind of dinner thing. Well, uh -huh. There you go. That explains it. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to get in touch with our senses. Oh. Sound, smell, taste. Okay. It'll be an awakening of sorts. So when do we sacrifice the virgin? <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of virgin, should I put, uh, put out the chips? <laughs> yeah, would you please? Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do something different tonight, you guys. First, I'm going to burn some incense, and then I'm going to put on a little CD that I got of the Big Blue calling to his mate. What exactly is the Big Blue? Whale. Ah, that's a little graphic, isn't it? <laughs> It'll be great. You just have to pretend that, that you're listening with your pores instead of your ears. This sounds interesting. <laughs> and, and the pillows. You can't forget the pillows. These set the tone so you can open up and relax and get inside yourself. I swear, last time I did this, I saw the vitreous gel in my eyeballs. Oh. Uh, should we put out the food? Yeah, let's get the uh, chips yeah. up. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey. Wow. Well, it sounds weird, but really fun. Where's Tony? Uh, he's not here yet. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to his reaction. But this will be the first time he's gone to the mattresses in this particular way. <laughs> Go ahead. Make another wisecrack, but this time say it to my face. Look, if I offended you, I apologize. It was a joke. Right? I didn't get it. It was a godfather thing, right? Tony? You don't have to explain. Hey, chill out. Give me a birthday hug. I'm sorry about that this afternoon, and I'm really glad to be here with you. Hey, baby, I brought you a present. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> Shouldn't we uh, say hi to your family? Hey, uh, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Mrs. Lewis, how's it going, counselor? Yeah, hey, good to see you under much better street, Tony. Is that Tony Santos? <laughs> yeah, I figured uh, I haven't outworn my welcome since uh, Mr. Lewis hasn't hit the ceiling yet. <laughs> the night is young. He's joking. Yes, I am. How's the new job, Tony? It's good. Good. Uh, I'm actually, uh, Mara's Uncle Billy has been a real help to me. He's been very encouraging, you know? He's taught me a lot of things about the job and uh, a lot about you too, Mr. Lewis. I knew it was a mistake to leave the two of you together. Uh, Tony, you should always take Billy's stories with a large grain of salt. That's right. Oh, I, I just got to know one thing. Do you use a dynamite or an explosive device? For what? What are you talking about? <laughs> to blow up the oil rig down in Oklahoma. Oh. Oh. Billy told me that your, uh, your pops, they stole it from your pops and you went ballistic. Oh, wait a minute, you, you blew up an oil rig, you blew it up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm busted, huh? Yeah. So it's true then? You went to jail? <laughs> For two nights. 
It was a horizontal drill rig with a static pull rate of, what, 800,000 pounds? Don't be adding fuel to this fire, okay? They sent you to jail. You it was just jail. until my dad explained things. And th can we just change the subject, he please? Was, he was a model prisoner. <laughs> That's right. That's true. They let me out early for good behavior. Oh, yeah, I'll say. Okay. All right. Don't talk to my brother anymore. You understand me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ross, Shane, come here and help me. Oh, you said Come over here. 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 Come over You're right. This is a treat for the senses. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Thank you for planning all this. Oh, you don't have to thank me now. You'll be much more enthusiastic before the night's over. I promise. Mm -hmm. Why? What's the big surprise? Mm -hmm. Well, if I told you, would there still be a surprise? Sam. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Tony, try my enchilada. <clears throat> you want one? No, thanks. Me neither. <laughs> Hey there. Mm -hmm. I wish you could see your daughter right now. She's the center of attention and loving every minute of it. Can you believe it? 18. I try not to think about it. You know, it seems like only yesterday when all she wanted was a clown and a couple rounds of pin the tail on the donkey. Now she's lying around on a bunch of mattresses surrounded by adoring men. And, and playing it for all it's worth. <laughs> Answer one question for me. What's that? Where are Tony's hands? Don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on them. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so when do I get to open my presents? Ooh, oh, right wow. now, right now, and I go first. But I already got the present from Blake. What was it? Yeah, uh, you don't want to know. Well, it's just something, a little extra, something that I picked up for myself. And after all, you know, since you are 18, you can be tried as an adult in the legal world, so watch yourself. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's been cool to watch you grow into a wonderful young woman. And here's just a little something, hoping that you'll find happiness on the rest of the journey. Oh, what is it? It's a navel ring. <gasps> What? It's a nose ring. Oh. No, it's what? not. None of those things. I'm trying to get a rise out of your parents. Tell me I covered that well. About as well as I did. You got us on that one. Yes, you did. Oh, wow. What is it? It's a diamond necklace. Is this real? Yeah, it is. At least they told me it was. <gasps> wow, it's huge. I think she likes it. I think so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> now open Tony's present. <laughs> Look, mine's not that, um, it's not exactly what I wanted to get you. Yeah. I was kind of low on funds, <laughs> so I, I just <gasps> got oh you those. Oh my little... gosh, they're so dainty, they're great. Dainty, yeah. They'll match perfect with the necklace, they're really great. Thank you. I think that is my present that has just arrived. But I thought that this party was your present. <laughs> no, he is. This is Yves. He will be our masseur for the evening. You know, I think it was so nice of our daughter on her 18th birthday to let me go first. Sam, you can throw a party anytime you want. You just have to invite oh. us. <laughs> All right, John. You know, if Eve's hadn't done such a good job on my shoulders, I'd have to get up and defend the sanctity of my home. <laughs> Easy does it, Mr. Mullen. All in a day's work. Okay. All right. Who's next? No, wait, pal. You're looking in the wrong direction. Oh, I'll go. That's funny. I would have taken you as the kind of guy that would have more confidence in his own identity, Tim. Oh, My identity's okay. fine. I'm just not into, into guys touching me like that. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah, well, I like to keep it that way. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh, it's not what you're thinking. I can't wait for my turn. Well, I can, uh, I can uh, warm you up till the real thing comes. Uh, thank you, but no. Oh, come on, yeah, I'll, I'll be gentle, I promise. Uh, oh, yeah, right there. Uh, uh, feels really good. Okay, pal, that's enough. 
only thing that's going on here is a simple massage. No, no, no. When you make sounds and faces like that, that means there's something going on. Tony, he's a professional. He's a complete professional, man. Relax. I'm a massage therapist. I take my job seriously. There's no monkey business going on here. Well, good, because that ain't a monkey you got in your hands. All right, wait, Eve's, Tony's one of those guys, he, he, he takes things the wrong way sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And I take that the wrong oh, way. Oh, 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 o